Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. On this segment, I'd like to talk about my experience at the Rhode Island Comic Con 2022. It was my first Comic Con, never been to one before. And I'm going to tell you exactly what dragged me out to go to this event. So with these Comic Cons, you got a lot of awesome stars, really cool celebrities, fun things to see, awesome cosplays, but I never been to one. So my best friend baited me with Peter Weller, brought this Comic Con up to me a bit back. He's like, hey, Peter Weller's going to be there, Robocop, do you want to go? I'm like, Peter Weller, Robocop is going to be at the Comic Con. I'm in, let's do it. So that's how he got me. Fast forward a couple of months, we go this weekend on Saturday to be precise. My buddy comes up out of town, spends the night. That was fun in itself. We get up, we hit the road, drive to the Comic-Con, and we're running kind of late, so I'm stressing a little bit because he has a booking to meet Robert Patrick, the T-1000, at like 1.20 p.m., and I'm supposed to meet Peter Weller at 5.20 p.m., same deal, photo op, signature. So it's like 1.06 p.m. We finally reach Rhode Island. We're trying to find parking. It's crazy. There's traffic. Finally find some side street. I say, screw it. Let's just park, man. We park the vehicle. I look back. I see a sign. It says no parking. I'm like, you know what? I'll eat a ticket. As long as they don't tow my car, I don't care. So we sprint to the convention. We make it inside. And there's plenty of time to spare. Because there's a lot of people, there's long lines, there's delays, the celebrities and stars are actually taking their time with people. So my best friend has to go downstairs to meet Robert Patrick and go do his thing. I see Peter Weller's booth and I'm like, you know what? I'm going to try to get the signature out of the way now and just do my photo op later. Now at the booths, they're also doing uh, selfies and you could pay for a signature, but mine was prepaid. So, all right, we split up. I wish him luck. He goes to meet Robert Patrick, but I saw Robert Patrick already and it kind of blew my mind, but I'm going to get a little bit into that. So I get online to uh, meet Peter Weller, get his signature. I have a, a Robocop movie, a DVD to be exact, not a Blu-ray. I do have the Blu-ray, but I brought the old school DVD. I'm going to put the picture up because I like the cover. I thought it would have went well with a signature and it's an old form of media. So I get online and I just make the cutoff security. The people running the event, they, they cut people off in the line. They're like, it's bleeding into the walkway. The fire marshal is going to shut everything down. Peter Weller had to be somewhere. This girl there is like, all right, you made it. She walked away to get somebody else. This other guy in charge comes back. He's about to just like cut me from the line. I'm like, no, 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 no. I'm like, I was here. He's like, all right, all right, you're good. You're good. He's busy just arguing with people because they can't seem to get it. Like they just want to get in line no matter what. He's like, try to come back in 15, 20 minutes. I just can't let anybody in the line right now. So I'm standing there like, whoa, because anything could happen. I just feel fortunate and lucky to be online at that moment to get Peter Weller's signature. So I'm standing there. Peter Weller comes from his booth. He gets like two feet away from me and he's talking to one of the guys running the event and I'm just like kind of starstruck. I'm looking at him, but I'm not nervous, but I can't believe Peter Weller's like two feet from me. And it was the same deal with Robert Patrick. It was the same deal with Brett the Hitman Hart, but I'm going to talk about that a little bit later. So Peter Weller's like, hey, I need somebody to uh, take selfies with some of the fans. I'll be right over here. I'm trying not to like stare him down and look awkward, but I'm like, Wow. Like you guys don't even understand, RoboCop is one of my favorite films of all time. Top 10, hands down. And I love Peter Weller, man. So long story short, I'm online, grateful to be there. There's people complaining, would you believe that? They're like, why is he taking so long with everyone? He's having conversations with people. And in my head, I'm like, are you dumb? Like if it takes him 30 seconds to a minute to chit chat with a fan, hey, guess what? You're online too. He's going to give you that time like freaking morons, man. And I thought it was just so cool, like how gracious Peter Reller was with his time. I mean, he's a human being. He's like 75 years old right now. It's got to be exhausting for him. And his energy is great. 
he truly looks like he's happy to be there to talk to everybody. So rant rant, I finally make it to his table. I have my movie, the table spread out with a bunch of nice pictures. If you paid for a signature, you could pick like a big photo, he'll sign it for you, or he'll sign your merchandise. I brought my DVD, so I'm like, now nah, I want him to sign this. I get right in front of Peter Weller and he says, now imagine this in like his voice, it's Robocop. He's like, all right, this is what we do with these. He opens up the DVD, he takes out the cover. He's like, you take it out like this. We're gonna sign it. You're gonna leave it out for 30 seconds. So it doesn't get ruined, you put it back in. I quickly said my piece to him because later on I was gonna have a photo op anyway. And I'm just like, thank you for doing this, huge fan. Robocop is one of my favorite movies of all time. He's like, all right, all right, buddy. And he like, and he shakes my hand and I just, I keep it moving. So there's that, stoked. Robert Patrick comes back up from downstairs, the uh, photo shoots. My buddy's back, he is like crazy happy. Super stoked. I mean, he loves Terminator 2, as do I. And he's a big fan of the T-1000. So I was super happy for him. He actually wound up getting a signature as well. And the same deal as Peter Weller. Robert Patrick is talking to somebody. And he comes away from his table. And he's just standing right there chit-chatting two feet away from me. I'm like, holy crap. Am I about to get terminated? It's the T-1000. Are you kidding me? Same thing as Peter Weller. Great energy. Seems super cool. Loving his time with his fans. That was so great to see. We start walking around to kill time. We start checking out merchandise, the vendors. We check out other celebrities. I mean, I saw Danny Trejo, Jackie Earl Haley, Brett the Hitman Hart, Tate Fletcher, actor, stuntman, mixed martial arts fame, Hillary from The Fresh Prince of Bel Air, Malik Yoba from New York Undercover. I mean, I could go on and on. Michael Rooker was there. I didn't see him. I wish I did. Vincent D'Onofrio was there. Zachary Levi. It's like, dudes, are you kidding me? It was a great lineup. So we're just like farting around, checking everything out. It starts creeping around the time for my photo op. So I go to like this Bay Area. I mean, there's like tons of people. This is the only thing that was a little bit unorganized. There was like lanes, let's say one through 22. It was kind of like every man for themselves. In front of the lanes, there were like these booths, kind of makeshift, like these curtains. And the celebrities were in each one. And then people line up and you go in basically one by one, you take your photo. There was a delay, like a 45 minute to an hour delay. So I make my way to the front. Like I said, it's every man for themselves. You have to just kind of like finagle your way in. So I get to the front early and I'm waiting like an hour, but I don't care because I'm gonna take a photo with Peter Weller. Finally, the time has come, they call my group, I go to my lane, I go in the booth, Peter Weller comes out, great energy. I mean, again, he's 75 years old, he's been there like for hours and hours, talking to so many people, signing things, photos, still comes out as happy as could be, happy to see his fans. I go up to him, I shake his hand, I say, once again, thank you for your art, your artistry for making RoboCop what it is. One of my favorite movies of all time. One of the things that made my childhood great. I'm just glad I got to express these things to him. Took my photo, shook his hand, told him to take care. That was that. We spent a little bit more time walking around, checking things out, got my photo situated. Then we headed back, we headed back to my house. My buddy broke off to go home. What I did was I took my signed DVD. I have like a high resolution digital. So I made a five by seven from that, took my lanyard, made a shadow box, memorabilia thing out of my uh, experience. Man, still smiling. Can't believe I met Peter Weller. For those of you guys who haven't been to a Comic Con yet, I had a great experience. I do recommend it. When there's another one going on semi-local, I will definitely go again. Hope you guys enjoyed this little story my rant on my experience at the Rhode Island Comic Con 2022. Feel free to drop your stories of celebrities you met, your experiences at different Comic Cons. I would love to read them. Thanks for watching this segment, guys. And I'll catch you all on the next one. Until then, everyone, please take care. Later, guys.